Okay, in this example here, a bit of skin on the character, and we're in the UV mode here, just so you can see um, how the UVs work inside Body Paint 3D. Now, one of the things you can see there is problems with the UVs, basically a bit of a mess. And if we look on the uh, right-hand side, you can see why the UVs are very tightly together where the ear is. And Body Paint 3D has some UV editing tools that can sort such messes out if you need it to. So, for example, the head, we can start selecting things like seams, where to unwrap, and basically create a new UV map that will hopefully sort out these issues. So, we just pick our points that we want to unwrap from and choose a method of which to unwrap. So here we go. ABF mode is rather nice. Grab our selections that we've got, unwrap, and it'll start relaxing from the points where I chose the seams to create a much better map. I spread out the map so it's quite even, so as you paint over things it should create nice brush strokes. So if we just have a look in here, and now do a bit of texturing, you can see a lot nicer result, pretty spot on, so you see that's quite useful. Other UV editing tools, you can do all the typical things you want to do with editing UVs. So for example, I've got this character's foot, and I want to put that particular part of the map onto a part of the texture, that's relatively easy to do. So there's the foot. I can just really edit this, move it around so it's moved onto the texture in the right area. So I've already done my texture work for a foot. I just want to move this and match it up nicely. So this is very handy if you've got a very limited space for textures and you've only got like a relatively small map or you only want to use one map for the character and make the most usage of it. And of course things like the feet, the base of the foot, you're probably not really going to see that much so you may as well have it use only a little bit of the map and here we go, so I'm just moving this manually to where I've painted a foot so of course you could paint this texture in another image editor if you liked and then we just move it around with the rotate tools, move tools, scale tools and the nice thing here is we're seeing them side by side so I can see exactly when it lines up properly on the model because I'm seeing it next to my UV editing mode on the texture itself there we go and then we can just have a look at other parts of the map. So I'm just selecting another part. So we're just going to select the arm. And of course you can select any part of the map, but the basic mode we're in here allows you to select parts of the UVs. And of course being in the 3D view is very nice because it's nice and simple just to spin around and grab what you want. Go to our UV mapping. Then we can do interactive mapping here to make sure we get a nice sort of unwrapped set of UVs. So cylindrical would make sense for an arm. And you can see on the right hand side as I'm doing this in real time what that's doing. So it's quite nice to see how this is working. So there we're getting a nice unwrapped arm which would then be very easy to texture. There we go. I could scale that around, find a part that I want to use and we're done. Another nice one is the ability to tweak a UV map. We've got this rather nice little magnet tool that makes it very simple to kind of pull on one area of a UV map but also affect the surrounding areas and you can choose to what extent it does. So this is just quite useful just for tweaking a map uh, and it's relatively easy to do. So let's tweak it. So that in a nutshell is an overview of Body Paint 3D, some of the tools that are available, of course there are many more. Hope you enjoyed it.